Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and lodgelies. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for the super thanks. Today, I would like to do a spread on Priscilla Presley. Um, she is trying to declare the amendments made on Graceland invalid. She wants to be the trustee of the uh, financial aspects of everything since um, her daughter passed away, since Lisa Marie passed away. Uh, apparently, allegedly, it is saying here, from what I've looked at, um, that the filing, uh, fa they failed to notify her of the changes, that, and that's apparently is legally required. There was a lack of witness, apparently, on notarization. Um, and also basically she's, um, she's trying to contest it and she wants to ask the judge to declare it invalid. And, um, yeah, she would, if she wins, she will be, um, she will be, uh, co-trustees with Riley Kehoe, Kehoe, which is 33 years old. And, um, so yeah, she, she wants to be the co-trustee. Co so she's, that's why she's fighting it, because she feels also they spelled her name wrong on it and the fact that there was no witness and she was not notified. So apparently that kind of breaks the law right there. So let's find out if she will win, will she win? A lot of upset people on it. And they're saying just ignore the Lisa Marie uh, fan base or whatever, you know, but because it wasn't legally done in the right manner. So let's um, first ask the pendulum here. <clears throat> Will um, Priscilla Presley win her court case on this? Will Priscilla Presley win this situation? Will she be the winner in this situation? Will she become co-trustee? Will Priscilla Presley become co-trustee? Will she win her case? Will she win her case? Maybe. Doesn't want to tell me. Okay, so there, this is going to be more complicated. More complicated than it looks? Yes. So it's going to get probably, is it going to get ugly? Is it going to get ugly? Yeah, it's going to get ugly. All right, so they don't want to say, let's pull some cards. Maybe's a maybe. So it's not a it's not a um, automatic loss or an automatic win. It's going to be complicated. So yeah, she wants, she wants to have basically a breakthrough opportunity with the reward of it. She wants that trustee. This deals with money, offers. It deals with home. It deals with um, any gifts, salary, um, you know, having the opportunity. She wants the opportunity. She's going for it. She wants that. She wants to be in control. It's a breakthrough. She wants that breakthrough. She wants that breakthrough opportunity and be rewarded trustee or co trustee so that's what she's after uh, let's get to the challenging Ooh, i should have gone under the deck hold a minute this was right up there this is under the deck but the kids are against it yeah the kids say no 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 we don't want you to do it so grand granddaughters she has three left don't want her to do it they're against it because it's in reverse they're not for it and she also feels they're not capable at this point in time, she doesn't think that they they have the ability to do it, that they're just too young. And I know the one's 33. She is. She's OK. But all in all, she doesn't want them to have have that full control. She wants to put them in reverse. Challenging position is to take that risk and win. She's taking a risk uh, with the uh, fool's card. So having faith, taking a risk, jumping out of your comfort zone and hoping it works out in your favor. It's kind of like a beginner's luck card. She's hoping that she can um, win, but it is a risk and uh, it's emotional because there's water there. She can easily land in that water and fail. So it's a risk, it's a total risk because she's got granddaughters here that are probably gonna be upset with her here that may not wanna spend time with her. It's just like uh, Michelle, like, excuse me, like Lisa Marie did not spend the last eight years of her life with her mom. They were estranged. And they had a very complicated push-pull relationship. And the reason being, according to recent to articles, is because um, Priscilla is very controlling, wanted to control her life. So let's get to the focal point. 
is asked for the focal point here, the focal point on this trustee situation, and she's hired lawyer, she's got representation, and she's ready to fight it. Problem is, it's a broken, shattered family. Ten of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse is, there's just no light at the end of the rainbow there. Things are not so perfect, okay? Not a happy family. Uh, it's a broken family. It's a very um, emotionally broken family. There's not a sense of permanence with the family. There's no hope and promise. That's the rainbow, and the rainbow's in reverse. Uh, emotional security's in reverse. Harmonious relationship in reverse. Uh, it's, you know, the personal goals haven't been reached. Uh, there's no joy in the relationship. There's, it's just not a harmonious family. It's very disharmonious, uh, very shattered family. Uh, let's get to the next card here. She, she knows that she has spoken out in the past, very clear, concise, aha with her sword here. Uh, she does like to speak up. She likes to um, have a breakthrough insight, cut through deception, and clear her thoughts. It can be noble or destructive. So this is probably why they had a lot of painful words, because it can be destructive. It can be cutting out because of cruel words. And basically, she took a risk on that. It's sacrifice with breakthrough insight, basically. So she, in the past, I think she wanted to, but she didn't. Uh, she had breakthrough insight of the past uh, with this sacrificial sort of energy. So she she just kind of went quiet for a while. It didn't serve her to do anything about it at the time. Um, and um, she kind of probably knew about it because she had that breakthrough insight about the sacrifice that she gave to the family. But it just the family just really kind of crumbled here. And, but now I think she feels it's time to do it now. Now is the time. Time is of the essence. Let's get to the hidden energy here, the hidden, the root, the root of the situation. Let's get the root of the situation, the root of the situation, the root of the situation. Weekend, That's it just feels kind of weak with the strength in reverse. There's no gentle energy here. Uh, upright, you're kind of, you can kind of get things your way through gentle nature that lamb is about gentleness here um yeah and, and being being um peaceful the lamb is with peace you do things with gentle manipulation through peace and uh, able to open up usually there's there's a lion here where the girl's opening up the lion's mouth in a very gentle fashion so doing things through gentleness but still getting your way through gentle strength uh, apparently she's a little bit rough. <laughs> she's a little bit rough. So I guess, uh, it's true. You know, she's kind of controlling. She, she likes her way and she wants her way and she pushes through. It's kind of like the bull in the China shop is what I'm thinking here. So she's a bit of, I would say that Priscilla is a bit of a bull in the, in the China shop. And, um, she's, uh, she's not a gentle, peaceful about getting her way on things at all. Which put the love in reverse because there, there's that love necklace there and purity. It just took away the purity of the relationship. It took away the purity of the family. The love is sitting there. There was no gentle peacefulness. There's just no peace within the family. Very broken family. The granddaughters aren't happy. She's very direct with her communication. She can weld it for good and she can weld it for bad, depending on the situation. And she always felt that she put a lot of sacrifice into everything. But her sacrifice can be that sore. It depends on what's going on with her. If she's going to use that, use that um, Ace of Swords breakthrough insight being, you know, nice or being mean. It can go either way, depending on who's holding it. It can be for noble or destructive purposes with the self-sacrificial energy. So she could be either nice or she could be cruel, you know. There's that, there's that wash and there's that flip flop that I was, that the article said that they had a very kind of push pull relationship. Uh, they were always on un, unstable ground. They were, they were, they were just back and forth a lot. So there was this back and forth energy between getting along and fighting constantly. It was just a very unstable relationship and they were not close and that doesn't serve her because now she's gone, but it never did quite serve, um, Lisa Marie. Let's go into the future. Let's go into the future. 
Let's go into the future. Well, that's not going to work for me. Neither will that. Got to keep shuffling here. Go into the future. What's in the future for Priscilla in this court case? What's in the future for Priscilla in this court case? What's in the future for her? She wants control. She wants to be co-trustee. With There we go. It's going to be a challenge. Competition struggles. A lot of conflicts and disagreement. So I would say that uh, Riley is against it and so is her sisters. Odin, don't move my camera. Yeah, my dog is underneath me and he's moving the camera. No, Odin. Okay, so it's a conflict. So it's going to be, that's why I got the maybe, because they're going to fight back. Um, here, there's just, it's a resistance card. Conflicts ahead. And they need to find a resolution. They need to find a resolution. Uh, a lot of unnecessary conflicts. Um, it can turn into a violent form. It can it could be a bit of a show off, and it can get real nasty. But it tends to be more of a show off kind of energy. Uh, so yeah, it's total conflict resistance. A lot of conflict. So they're going to disagree with her. The granddaughters don't want her doing this. So. Broken, very broken family. Very sad. Just because people have money doesn't mean they're happy. And just because they have a famous father doesn't mean they're happy. Let's get, I move that so you guys can see my next polls here. Uh, I'm going to go to the feelings in the situation. The feelings in the situation. Magic. Yeah, so this here could be used for ill purposes too. It could be used for manipulation. It could be used for good purposes. It's focusing on change. So Priscilla is focusing on change and she's tapping into full potential to get it. She's using all tools available, which would be a lawyer. And it also can be for deceit too. Uh, she thinks it was deceitfully done, uh, that the changes and that, um, you know, this whole paperwork wasn't done properly. So she's saying it was done deceitfully uh, behind her back and she wants to manifest and focus on change. So let's get to the outside influences for Priscilla Presley and fighting, fighting this trustee, fighting the, the inheritance of the granddaughters and wanting to partake and be in control of it. What does the outside influence have to say? What does the outside influences have to say? This could be uh, not so much just the public, but this could be, you know, the lawyers, the uh, the judge, what is, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? There we go. Judgment. There's the judgment card. It will be a judgment. A judgment will come in. Yes. So there is the judgment card. That is self-forgiveness for yourself and other people. Um, judgment is about self-evaluation. It's a wake-up call. It's also about letting go of grudges and past old wounds it's a releasing it's also a major announcement a major announcement will be made a judgment will come in but in the process every there is a lot of self-evaluation that priscilla is going over it is a wake-up call for her um you know so basically she may need to release this situation it's also a card of releasing which would be letting go of the grudge and releasing it meaning she may end up losing, but we'll find out. What's the hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. Wow. She wants to keep the dualities and test the relationship uh, with the granddaughters uh, if she can get rid of this old wounds and old grudges that she had with their mother, with, with Lisa Marie. It probably caused some issues with the granddaughters. So she's hoping she can test it. That's a testing. Should I stay or should I go? Don't take it lightly. Um, it's, you know, it's about trying to accomplish possibly getting along. There's no permanence with the lover's card. Let's get to the final, final outcome, the final outcome, the final outcome on this trustee situation for Priscilla Presley. What's the final outcome? Final outcome. It's looking like she is going to rise up. She's going to rise up and she, it looks like she may end up winning. Yeah, that's a rising up. And which will cast some, some dark clouds over some people because I just decided to pull under the deck again. So some of they're not going to be happy about it, but she's hoping she can get this relationship with her granddaughters and test the relationship because things went really bad when she was in estrangement with not only Lisa, but also the granddaughters. So wants to test the relationship, but it's looking like she will rise up with that queen of wands. 
Um, Queen of Wands is a woman who, who is the rising phoenix. She is the rising phoenix. She will have the energy and the enthusiasm to do it. It's also a wand, which is a business card. She's got the business head to do it. She's done it before. And it's the ambition for the business, ambition for the family. It's what makes her tick. She's very enthusiastic with it. Internally and externally, it's who she feels she is. Uh, it's also a card of getting a lot of public attention. And she will get the attention for it. So it's looking like she's going to win. It's looking like this thing is going to turn around, which means it will be voided. It's looking like it's going to end up being voided here. Uh, so it's looking like Priscilla will win this situation. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Wands also is very aggressive. And she's a risk taker. And she will do what other people will not do, including fighting this. Um, so, and she's very social. She's very self-assured. She's very feisty. She's very confident. And, um, so yeah, I think she's going to win this thing. I think she will. Uh, that's what the cards are saying. So let's get to the center of the deck. Very fighting energy. She's going for it. She's going after it. And, uh, with the Knight of Cups, but she wants to do it with love because she's putting out loving messages probably to the granddaughters. I'm not doing this to go against you. I'm doing it because I loved, I loved, um, Elvis. Elvis was her romantic suitor, <clears throat> suitor. He was her lover boy. She's doing it. She's fighting for Elvis. She's fighting for the legacy of, and keeping it going. She doesn't want it to fail because she, like I said, she has that ambition. She has that business head and that family head to do it. It totally makes her tick. Uh, she knows she can keep it going. She's got that fiery temperament to keep things, um, keep the, keep it on above board and keep it going. Uh, and it's also, I feel this is for Elvis here. Uh, and she's going to fight for Elvis is what I, I see here. So she's not just fighting so much for herself, but she's fighting for Elvis to keep it going and keep the legacy going. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.